Hey everyone, in this Lords of the Fallen, how to get and use the Orion Preacher Catalyst, I want to tell you exactly that. So one way is to start with the class Orion Preacher and you will have the Orion Preacher Catalyst in your starting inventory. But if you are playing as a different class, such as the one that I'm playing here, you may need to buy it separately. So you need to go and defeat Pieta first and then get to this area, the Skyrest Bridge. And then from here, you will find uh, a guy that starts off here talking to you. And then if you don't purchase immediately from him, you'll see that he moves and he's off this way and he's down here. And this guy, as we'll see, I can't remember his name, but he is, there you go, Exactor Dunmire. So here we can purchase the Orion Preacher Catalyst and use it. So yes, if we go purchase, you can see he's got all sorts of stuff available for sale, one of which is the Catalyst, which is this thing here. So you'll tell what it is just to the side of me there, it says Orion Preacher Catalyst. One thing I want to point out though, let me just move me to the middle so you can see, is you need a certain amount of radiance to be able to use this. So if you look to the right hand side of the screen, it says Radiance 12. So you do need that to be able to actually use this in your uh, throwing hand which is what we're going to do in a minute you can also see the price of it it's not too bad 650 vigor is what this is going to cost to purchase it so you simply move over it and then hit a to purchase and we are done the other thing you're going to need is some spells as well and exactor dunmire also sells some spells so you can see we've got radiant flare helium radiance and radiant weapon again look at sorry that side is opposite for me at the radiance required so the helium radiance you can see i'm cool but it says i need a radiant catalyst fine i can do that so my uh, radiance if you look on the left hand side of the screen is 14 so I'm fine to use helium radiance so I'll buy this for 650 you can see my uh, sort of figure is top left so we can see how much we've got so I can afford that one uh, this one I can't use though because you can see it says radiance 18 so that's kind of pointless for me and then this one is fine the radiant flare so I'm going to use that one as well so I purchased all of those Okay, so now we've got the Orion Preacher Catalyst, we need to use it. So to do that, hit the pause button, and on the top left-hand side, where you've got your weapons here, move to your throwing hand. So select that, and then choose Orion Preacher Catalyst. So that will then uh, move to here, and then these are the spells that we need to use to activate it. So we can see nothing in these at the minute, so I'm using the D-pad to move between these. So we'll move to this one here and choose what we want. So I'm going to put the Radiant Flare in as RB. And then this one here, I will put this one, the Healing Radiance. There's also this spell Sanctify here, but I can't use it because I've not got enough mana cost it by the looks of things here. So I'll put this in here. And then what we see is our ammunition bar that I had before is replaced with this mana bar that we're seeing. So that little blue bar down the left-hand side. Now, to access it, uh, like you may know, down the bottom there, so down on the D-pad uh, moves to my lantern, but up on the D-pad will access the catalyst. And then if I hold down left trigger, I can then access my spell. So you can see this one and this one, right trigger. So we've got those two things there. So what I'll do, I'll just go and find an enemy just so you can see this in action. So we've got an enemy there, so I'm going to use right trigger to lock onto them, left trigger to use this, and then right button to fire out the spell. There we go. So you can see I just keep pressing it and I keep firing out the spell at them. You can see the mana drops uh, as we do this. So one of the things you need to do is think about how you're going to replenish the mana. And you can do that a couple of different ways. You can either use a consumable for this. So if we hit the... Uh, actually, sorry, there's someone... Is there someone up here? Um, so you can either, if we go to the inventory, uh, apply these small mana clusters. So you can see I've got quite a lot of these, so these would be good. So I could select these and use one, uh, or we could put them in our equipment. So you can see here's my quick access things here. So I'll select this one, and then I'll move to these, and then I've got access to them quickly. So I'll just take this guy out. So you can see the blue mana bar is low, so let's move now across to the... Uh, small mana stone cluster and then I can use this with X or whatever button it shows underneath there and you can see that's just sort of replenishing that mana so it takes a little while uh, so you want to be doing this while it's a nice and quiet and then now we've done that we can move forward and have a little look at someone to target such as that one there so we'll do the same thing and see if we can hit them from range so you can see it's a nice long ranged and pretty quick uh, attack so it works quite well now, the other option, if you haven't got mana stone clusters, is to find a vestige to rest that, which I will do in just a minute for you as well. So here we've got a vestige, and if I interact with it, 
and then just choose to rest what we'll see is my mana will automatically recharge ready to do battle again but of course all my enemies reset there as well another thing to have a little look at on this is if you go into your pause button and have a little look at your inventory and then have a little look at your gear uh, sorry sorry I'm on the wrong thing here so it's ranged weapons uh, we can see all of the different specs of this so you can see radiance up there C minus so uh, you should be able to upgrade this over time in, which I'll show in a separate video and improve that over time um, but the other thing is you're going to get more power from this or more damage by increasing your radiance on your leveling up as you see on the left hand side so I'm currently 14 the more I sort of power that up the more powerful things will go so there you go, that's how to equip and use the Orion Preacher Catalyst. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need more help with the game, do let me know with what, but I'll put some tutorials at the end of here that may help you out with other aspects of the game. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe, will you? I don't just cover Lords of the Fallen, but many other games too. So have a little look around, and I hope you like my channel. Thanks.